Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, I made this video about how much I hate color grading red footage in Premiere. And uh, I need several features before it becomes viable to do. And wouldn't you know it, I figured out one of them. I figured out how to make a partial preset. So I'm just going to show you the entire process here so that you understand it, just in case... Pff, how many of my viewers work with red footage all day? What am I, This is crazy. I'm just going to show you anyway. Okay. <laughs> so... So I've imported some footage here, and this is all straight off the camera. It's not graded yet. So here's what I'm supposed to do. What I'm supposed to do is go to the color space, change it to red wide gamut RGB, gamma curve, change that to log 3G10, okay? And it gets this very flat effect here. This is the first step of color correction for red clips. So then I have to go through and I have to do that to literally every single one of these clips. And that obviously gets really tedious having to do that every single time. Go here to, where are we? Ride gamut, click here and go to uh, log 3G10. There's got to be a better way. Well, there is a better way. You can just right click on here and save a preset, right? Uh, before I do that, I'm going to twirl that down so it's small and you'll see why later. So you can save a preset. Check this out. I'm going to call this Red source settings preset, Terran yay. Enter, okay? So you can save a preset, and now it's down here. I can go to all of these, highlight them all, move that preset onto them, and bada bing, bada boom, now it's applied to all of these. However, here's the problem. Not only does it change color space and gamma curve, but it also changes the ISO value, the Kelvin value, and the tint value. And for every single one of these clips, those were different before I put that preset on, which is no bueno. So let's go to this one, check it out. Here's the current values. If I go to as shot, it goes back to what it was before. If you'll notice, Kelvin changed and so did ISO. Undo that. You see the difference? ISO was 640 and Kelvin <laughs> is, is wrong by several thousand degrees. This is not good. What I really need, again, is a partial preset one that will only affect color space and gamma curve. But you can't do that in Premiere. However, like I said, I figured out how to do it. So you go to your preset that you made, right click on that preset and export preset. I'm going to call it Terran Yay, Red Source Settings Preset Terran Yay. Save that to the desktop. Here's my Red Source Settings. Right click on that, edit in Notepad++, ta-da! There it is. This is just bare XML code. This is great. I can modify this and then save it and load it back in. Um, and that's really great because if you open up, I don't know, like, a, like an image file or whatever, you try to do the same thing and you just get a bunch of nonsense. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't modify this. Uh, let's close this before bad things happen. But this, this is beautiful. So uh, check it out. The only thing that's weird, why won't this scroll down? is the checksum. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to modify this stuff, but hopefully I won't need to. So let's, let's check it out. Look, we have all the different parameters in here. Video component parameters have been saved. So if we just search control F for ISO, there it is, ISO. And we also can find, let's see, uh, Kelvin, I think, Kelvin found it and right below that should be come on tint i'm just marking these that doesn't change the code at all okay calvin and tint so what's the value that it's been set to oh 7200 and right down here you see it's a negative six let's go back into premiere and you can see what have we got 7200 negative six oh interesting the iso value is at 250 let's check that out in here the ISO value, here we go. The ISO is six, okay. So this is something important to keep in mind. It says that it's six. Now it's actually 250, but that's just because it's the zero, one, two, three, four, five, sixth value on this dropdown, right? So that's what that means. And I know that because, you know, I've, I've looked at the code carefully. So what you might think is that you might be able to delete this and then save it, and then it won't, it won't write any value to that, and it'll leave it alone. I tried that, it doesn't work. You might also think that you can just write a zero, 
But no, I tried that, and it just sets it to the first one. Well, the zeroth one, because it's a computer. Um, I also tried quotation marks like that. Saved it. Tried it. Doesn't work. I tried, I don't know, the wild card or whatever. I tried lots of things. Nothing worked. In fact, the answer is not to delete that value from there. You have to delete everything from here to here. So node to name. You, you hollow that out and you leave nothing on the inside. You allow it to say object 31, but it provides no information. Okay, and now I have to go do that for the other two. So once again, everything from name to node. Delete everything from name to node. Delete. And now I'm going to save this again. Save. And before I go, I'm just going to check to make sure. Uh, okay, sorry, I was just messing with some stuff. I needed to check to see if this is still here, and it is. So filter expanded, false. That's what we want. Okay, what that means is that that triangle is not twirled down. That's what I want. That's what these three lines mean. So hopefully that will translate over. Uh, yeah, false. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we have everything that we need. So I'm going to save this. Save. Okay, let's just change the name in here. Uh, let's call it tilde red partial preset. You don't need to do this. Partial preset v4, because this is the fourth time I've tried this. So save. Go back to the desktop. Was it this one? Yes, it was. So now it's just, I just changed the name so that when I import it, it's not going to be confusing. Go back to Premiere. I'm going to delete some bullshit that I was doing over here. Okay. Now, import. We go to, what did I call it? Oh, good heavens. Date modified. Partial preset V4. Here it is. Okay. Partial preset V4. Now, um, I've already messed with all this footage, so it already has all of its uh, ISO and Kelvin values and tint values ruined. So I'm going to delete it. We're going to start over, import it again. Come on, baby. Import again. Oh, import again. Okay. Good. Now I'm going to take the partial preset, and hopefully this will work. Blurp. Let's check it out. ISO values are different for all of them. Oh, that's great. But you know what failed to translate over was the untwirliness. They are all, unfortunately, still twirled open unless I do it manually, which is, which is not bueno because I need to add two more things after here. So that's the first step. But check it out. It worked. It worked. I just couldn't get the twirliness that I wanted. So that's how you do it. So now this is good forever, and I've made this, and I shared it with everybody else in the office, and they all use it because it's so much better than having to go through, do them all manually, and it's also so much better than having to go through and manually click these buttons every single time, and sometimes it doesn't even work. Much less effort. And so now that I have that, I can also just select all of these and use the second part, which is Lumetri's for red. Ba -da 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 -da. And now they look better. So basically, oh, see, I really wish that was twirled down. Basically what this is, is it adds two more Lumetries. This one, the only thing it has is this super fancy, oh, good heavens. This, uh, out of a million different LUTs, it uses that one. Oh, crap. And that's all that it does. And then this one here in the middle, this one is the uh, preset that I made. It just does a little bit of basic color correction. This is where you do your real color correction. So that's how you make a partial preset. You have to go into the code and delete some stuff. But it can be done, ladies and gentlemen. It can be done. I think I might be the only person to have discovered this. But boy, it's great. Enjoy your partial red presets, fellas. Bye-bye.